Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer and today I'm excited to swap out my old NVIDIA GTX 1070 to the Asus Strix RTX 2080 Super. In this video I'm going to unbox it, review the unit and install it in my custom AMD Ryzen 3700X build. The 2080 Super has 8GB of GDDR6 RGB lighting and 3072 CUDA cores which helps me with DaVinci Resolve. The packaging is really professionally done and looks really nice. So where's the ASUS? So here's a new graphics card. I am replacing my three-year-old GTX 1070 with the new ASUS. ROG Strix RTX 2080 Super by NVIDIA or a Sync Lights Advanced Edition DDR6 8 gigabytes of memory. So let's unbox it. Open it up. Speed setup. Instruction manual. Get some warranty card. So eventually read it. And here it is. This thing is heavy. Just for comparison, this is my old three-year-old GTX 70, and this is the GTX 2080 Super, and it is quite significantly bigger. Wow. In terms of thickness, But yeah, it's quite heavy. One fan versus three fans. Take a quick look, there's three fans at the bottom. I think you have to take this off, the PCIe. Take a quick, here's a quick look. Three fans. Look at the top. Has the GeForce branding, Strix. Republic of Gamers. Turn around, look at the back. Performance mode, quiet mode switches, I guess. And then remove film before you saw. So, okay, so I have to pull this off. All right. I installed this on the Asus Prime X57D Pro motherboard. Due to the thickness of the card, do note that it does take two PCIe brackets.
This graphics card requires a lot of power. It takes two four pin connections from the PSU. Make sure to use two separate cables with four pin connections and not to use a single wire. So now let's review the output from the video card itself. There's a USB Type-C. An HDMI 2.0, but you need a 2.0 cable for it to fully utilize that. Two DisplayPort 1.4, which is the latest technology for DisplayPort. And then another HDMI 2.0. I installed the Strix RTX 2080 Super and going to power on the PC now. When it powers on, the RGB lights up and the color is currently synced to the AMD stock cooler fan that came with the Ryzen 3700X. The back of the plating has the RTX symbol and you can actually see that it lights up as well with RGB lighting. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for similar content. I am going to be doing a part 2 about installing the drivers and benchmarking the card. So thank you and until next time.